Getting a lot of tension in that upper back. Firing the glutes. One, two, three. Gripping the floor. Squeezing those glutes. Thumbs back, knees out. You can see the position of the bar is quite low on my back as this position is called a low bar squat position. Depending on your goals, biomechanics, the bar position will vary dependent on the individual. To squat well, you will need adequate hip mobility, an adequate amount of dorsiflexion at your ankles and knee flexion. Limited dorsiflexion and hip mobility will mean that your squat will end up not working as well as it should. And I would recommend focusing on the right mobility methods to work up to a full depth squat or to be able to box squat or goblet squat until you can reach full depth. Again, it does come down to what your goal is and what you're looking after. I'm an advocate of squatting full range of motion although it is dependent on the individual in biomechanics, mobility, and so forth. You can see with the bar path as well, it is in the mid part of my foot. As I start to get fatigued, it will start to differ. Ideally, it should be in the mid part of the foot, a straight bar path. Loading those glutes and hamstrings, knees are out, Firing up, walking it straight in.